Hi everyone. Welcome to series, maybe a series, I don't know. Welcome to cooking-ish. This is actually not my kitchen. This is my cousin's kitchen. Shout out to my cousin for letting me use it. And today we're gonna be making pasta, jumbo pasta. It's an experiment. I don't know how it's gonna be. And we're also gonna be making mozzarella sticks. Let's go. So you're gonna need some jumbo shells some flour. I used bread flour because that's the only thing I had. Bread crumbs. I used panko because that's also the only thing I have. Broccoli. Hoffy bacon. Hoffy, hoffy. Um, three eggs. String cheese because I didn't have any regular mozzarella cheese. As well as chicken breasts from Tyson. Or I use Tyson if you will focus. And spices like salt and pepper, um, mozzarella and parmesan, and last but not least, Crisco canola oil. Starting with the bacon wrap mozzarella sticks, we're going to crack the eggs into a bowl and mix them so we can have that um, stickiness for the coating of this the mozzarella sticks yeah as you can see my sister's is a great egg cracker for the mozzarella bread coat you're going to need the egg mixture which we add a little bit of milk you're going to need the flour and you're going to need the panko breadcrumbs after we did all those necessary stuff we wrapped mozzarella sticks in bacon strips and then we dipped it into the three mixtures Okay, as I learned from David Seymour, it's keep one hand for dry ingredients, the other for wet ingredients. Step one, dip the mozzarella stick into the bread flour. Step two, dip it into the egg. Step three, make sure it doesn't fall off and dip into the breadcrumbs. Uh, breadcrumbs? Yes. Step four, dip it back into the egg. And step five, put it back in the breadcrumbs so it gets that extra crispy coating. After successfully doing the first one, you're going to complete the rest of them and make sure they all look the same or not. They don't always have to be the same, you know? Since our sticks didn't look too hot, we decided to do a second coat later on. And we're going to right now freeze our mozzarella sticks for about half an hour because it helps them stay together. Moving on to preparing our stuffed pasta, we're gonna be cutting some broccoli into smaller slices like florets, but we didn't really know how to do that, so they're like semi florets. While we cut the broccoli, we're gonna put some jumbo shells inside to the boiling pot that's over medium heat for about 10 minutes to make it al dente. Make sure while the pasta is inside the water, you stir occasionally, and right now I'm adding some salt to give it some flavor to the shells, because shells must be tasty too, otherwise they're just there as cup holders. Once they're all dented, you're going to take a drain draining spoon, and you're going to drain out the water from the jumbo shells as much as you can. Honestly, I just left some water in there on accident. With the remaining pasta water, we're going to use it for our broccoli, so it gives it that kind of salty taste, but not really. It just adds a little flavor. We're also going to be cutting some chicken strips. Strips? We're going to be cutting some chicken cubes, actually, and putting some spices like salt, um, pepper, other things that I don't know the name of but make it taste good when your chicken is done being seasoned you're gonna put them inside a pan on the stove right next to the broccoli so you can keep an eye on it and you're also 
going to have to keep an eye on the broccoli and leave it in there for about three minutes so it gets all soft and right when it gets soft you're going to take it all out. Before we attempt to assemble our stuffed pasta, we're going to preheat the oven to 150 degrees for as long as it can so we can later on melt the cheese on the stuffed pasta. Moving on to assembling the pasta, you're going to take a jumbo shell and you're going to take a half spoon of the alfredo sauce and put it inside the shell, just spread it around, it doesn't have to be even but if you want to it can and after that you're gonna add mozzarella cheese on top to give it that cheesy layer we're kind of making layers I don't know um, after that you're gonna put broccoli because broccoli with alfredo is pretty yummy um, I don't know what I want to do so we're just gonna add the chicken next then and the bacon, of course, because bacon and chicken is good. And don't be skimpy unless you have a little bit. And finally, you're going to have Parmesan cheese on top. Once you've made the first stuffed shell, you're going to do the same to the rest of the shells. Or add just as much as you can. It doesn't really matter as long as you get to eat them afterwards. Once all your shells are finished and looking pretty nice and tasty, you're going to put them in the oven for about 10-15 to 15 minutes to let the cheese kind of turn golden brown and delicious. Going back to our mozzarella sticks, we're going to put them inside a pot with oil for about two minutes on each side just so the bacon can also get cooked on the inside and the mozzarella can melt. When they're all done being fried, you're going to pat them all dry so they don't have as much grease. Alright, so we have completed our experiments. To recap, we made bacon wrap mozzarella sticks and stuffed pasta, which include broccoli, alfredo, and chicken, and bacon. Now we're gonna do a little taste test. Do you guys wanna be in it? Yes, I wanna eat. Do you wanna be in it? A little bread. I wanna eat it. Alright, so. So we're gonna be doing a taste test, okay? Oh, uh, hey, alright. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Is it good? It might be undercooked. Ooh, do that pull. Mm, mm -hmm. Is it good? That doesn't look like a taste of that was my Oh, I want to try one. Mm -hmm. We did it. You want to try some? Take one. This is kind of a cheese ball. I'm in. But, that's bomb. It's just so good. Is it? It's so good. The bacon uses that extra, like, oh, flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm not going to wait for them. I'm just going to try the pasta, stuffed pasta. Mm -hmm. This one. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my gosh, it's has a pull too. Yeah, I'll pull. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Well, I like it. But you're making me put it here. We thought this was gonna be kind of like a fail, but it turned out to be like really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Cooking Ish. Ish. Yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share to all your friends, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.